Like the, the day of the competition is the big representation of everything you put in to that one little route. I really enjoy setting for the little, little kids. They set these like micro moves that make these tiny people look like they are big people. My favorite thing is to see someone come down from one of our rock lines and like seem psyched about it, you know, like they're smiling and having a good time. Yeah, like, you know, count down the days until the next comp. My name is Jenna St. Germain, and I am a root setter. I've done, like, pretty much everything you can do at a gym without owning it. Start washing holds to get a little bit of extra money. And as I wash holds, you know, like, you get to look at them a lot more than when you're rock climbing them, and you get to see all, like, the different parts of the holds, and. You know, then you think like, oh, like it'd be cool if I could put up something where you do this certain movement. And then you start thinking through that because, you know, you have quite a bit of time to think while you're washing all these holds. From there, like, you know, you start to think about like different movement that, you know, maybe like you can put on the wall that it, that hold hasn't been used for yet. I was pretty psyched to learn how to route set. And after I talked to the head setter at the time, you know, I just wanted to try it out. And like, he seemed pretty psyched to like help me learn. About two hours to it used to be a hobby, I think. A lot of people started route setting that way. How can I put grips on the wall and, and climb for free? It's very fun to route set and to work in route setting. And if you can make a career out of it and you like rock climbing, then it's a fantastic trade. I'm John Muse. I work for USA Climbing as the events manager and have played a various number of components within the climbing industry. I am super excited that John is in town. He was like one of the first mentors of mine in rock climbing. Probably one of the most influential ones in my life in general. Anytime someone was interested in the idea of route setting, I always tried to provide that opportunity for them. And I think she's done well for herself and she's a fantastic route setter. I think she has rose to the, the challenges that were presented to her in route setting. I've always been the only female on my crew at my home gym. Obviously, there's no hidden secret that they're, it's, it's dominated by, by men currently, but over the course of my setting career, I have definitely seen more women getting into route setting. It's amazing to have women on a route setting crew. Uh, they just add a different element to the environment. Yeah, diversity in all walks of life is, is great to have. I just put these two volumes on for the start to kind of just like uh, be a little different from theirs since both of theirs doesn't have volumes. So that way it just kind of like makes all of ours stand out from each other a little bit more. Uh, the first sport and speed local of the season um, and we are going to do an on-site format which is a little bit different than the typical red point format. So I think route setting is really similar to like a construction job. You're moving heavy things, you're moving ladders. You got to be able to lift buckets of holds and cart them from one area of the gym to the next area of the gym. You're sitting on a rope in a harness and you're hauling holds up to you to then attach to the wall. You know, it looks like it's like a lot of fun and stuff, and it is. It for sure is a lot of fun, um, but it's also a lot of hard work at the same time. Uh, my first like route setting gig it was probably like setting like three days a week. And the first time that I did five, I was so tired when I was doing that consistently. I'd go to bed, like a grandma, like got up early, went to work, and went to bed. <laughs> like when joining, you know, the, the crew at Momentum, like I had worked with a couple of the guys already before. So like there was already that kind of like established like comfort with some of them. We just like worked pretty well together. <laughs> you know, and a lot of people like see us like kind of like messing around, being goofballs and having fun. And like, we do enjoy our job, you know. You're defining someone's interaction with the wall, with how you put the grips on the wall and the orientation. You put them, what you're wanting them to do, what you're telling them to do. So in some degree, you are defining how much fun they have on the wall as well. You'll have like these two Wacos, and then the last move, they just have to like go for 
like a pretty big jump. You have to be creative, but, you know, to like make climbing memorable. There has to be like a flow behind it and like passion behind it. It's just like you can feel their excitement. It's just awesome, you know, and then they come down like not forgetting that. You want kids like to be super psyched because they are the future of this sport, as corny as that sounds. They are, you know, like they are what this sport will be. You know, so like if they're psyched now, you know, hopefully they want to be route setters, they want to be coaches that want to keep doing the same thing, you know, and like just keep the psych going, keep the sport going. You know, I get to do like what I love. Uh, I get to climb and then I get to see people get on something of mine and then be psyched when they come down. Yeah, I would much rather route set than do a lot of other things <laughs> while I'm here on this earth. <laughs>